Hello beautiful people, this is Frank Yap. Welcome to our channel where we experience lifestyle, self-care, and everything else in between. So the last time I shared with you my skincare regimen and on that vlog I mentioned that I had mild acne and that is indeed true. I want to share with you the things that I have been doing to manage acne. If you haven't watched that vlog, I'm going to share the link in the description down below and take a look also at this picture. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook, that's Frank Albert Yap. If you are new here, please support the channel by subscribing. Acne is a common skin problem of many people of all ages. Early as 12 or 13 years old, all the way to 19 or 20, even young adults can also be affected. There are four main factors that cause acne. First, excessive oil production which is true in my case. Second, hair follicles clogged by pores and dead skin cells. Third, bacteria. And finally, excessive activity of hormone androgens. I do have oily skin. In fact, acne-prone skin. But I never had acne problems, especially on my face. This is the first time that I'm ever experiencing it. So I did not think twice to consult with my dermatologist. And all of you know it, that it's Doc Ivy of the Ivy Clinic. And since our channel focuses on self-care, I thought that many of you might benefit from this vlog. Let me make it clear that I am not a doctor. Yes, I am a registered nurse and I have been consulting with doctors like dermatologists for years now. So I have been made aware of so many formulations or products that are available in the market. The way I'm going to present things to you today is that I am going to go through the steps that I have been doing as prescribed. I'm going to mention possible alternatives of the affordable products that you can find in the market. The first one is cleansing and for that part I am using a cleanser and soaps. For the cleanser, I am keeping to the Ivy Skin Clarity Cleanser. This is how the bottle looks like. And the main ingredient of this is indeed AHA or alpha hydroxy acid. There are also many other products in the market that have the same ingredient. Possible alternatives are Lux Organics AHA BHA Cleanser. You also have Cos RX Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. You can find that on Shopee or Lazada, I think. Next, I have been using their AHA BHA toner, so I know that the product is very effective. Another option for you is to use their Good Morning Cleanser. Never go wrong with also using Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. But if you want a product of Cetaphil that's specifically for oily skin, then you have Cetaphil Oil Skin Cleanser. That's a little pricey. So let's go to the soap. I have been using Ivy Clinic Skin, of course, Acne Soap 1. This is an anti-acne soap bar. There is also another brand that I have been using which I cannot share with you as yet because it's also coming from legit resellers or doctors. To name a few, you have Defensil Anti-Pimple Soap. It also has a small box, guys. I remember using that before. You have Acne Aid. Any zinc oxide or sulfur soap will also do. Or the most common Dr. Kaufman, which is widely available in the market. So the cleanser people obviously are being used both in the morning and in the evening, so that's twice a day. For the anti-acne soap bar, what I do right now is just to apply it on concerned areas of my face. That's more economical. So you just have to apply it, form a lather, and then apply, and then wait for one to two minutes, and then you rinse it off. If you have breakouts, let's say, on the neck part, then you can also use it there first time to use the product it may be better for you to test it first so maybe you can start with once a day preferably morning another good alternative is let's say a cleanser or a bar soap that has benzoyl peroxide you can only think of one brand for that and that is panoxyl i managed to use it before after cleansing let's go to the second step and that is applying let's say any cream or gel that you have for it Right now, I am using both gel form and cream. One that I have here is Adapalene or Differin. It's an anti-acne gel, 0.1%, and this is how the tube looks like. Now, peeps, this one is available over the counter. You can even buy this online, Shopee or Lazada. Just be careful 
and make sure that you are getting a legit brand. This product is very effective, so I cannot think of any alternative to this. Many doctors in the States agree that this is one of the most effective OTC drugs for acne. Right now, I only apply it in the evening. And I know of some people who have used the product who also did the same. They only use it once a day, in the evening. If you are a first timer, then I suggest that you also do the same. But if you ask me if it's possible to use it twice a day, it is possible. Another cream that I am using is this Acne Care Cream with GT Peptide 10. And this is how the bottle looks like. I am afraid, people, that this is not readily available in the market. This is an exclusive brand in the United Kingdom and this is a little pricey. So I do not recommend that you buy it here in Manila because I am not sure, guys, if there will be a legit item that you can get out there. You can only get this from doctors. I use this once a day, nighttime. Vapoline is MWF and Sunday. Acne Care is TTHS. Before I apply Differin and Acne Care, I will need to use first clindamycin phosphate for acne. Now this one guys is antibacterial so it's very important that you are guided by a doctor for this. What are the possible alternatives then? So the different gel also has its cream form. In fact, I know that there is also cleanser available for it. Let's go to the next step and that is using spot corrector. This one I have ultra spot corrector. This is in a small bottle. Now there are many alternatives to this one in the market. The main ingredient of this is salicylic acid. I know of one brand that can be very effective, Neutrogena on the spot corrector. The main ingredient is benzoyl peroxide. Right now, I only use a spot corrector in the evening and of course, you only apply it on the pimple itself. I'm also using an acne gel that's coming from a dermatologist which I cannot share with you as yet. Sorry about that. But this one I use at daytime. It's also serving as a spot corrector so you just apply it on the pimple itself. Now the very last one guys that you want to consider is using a sunscreen. You have to remember that there are many anti-acne products that will make your skin sensitive to UV rays. AHA is an example. So I'm using a sunscreen gel also from a dermatologist. There are many alternatives available in the market. In my vlog about my skincare routine, I shared with you that I was a user of Biore sunscreen. That is a good one that dealing with acne is case-to-case -case basis guys some of these products may work for me and may not work for you or vice versa now if your acne is severe or if you have long-term acne i strongly suggest to please go and consult a dermatologist you don't need to spend a wealth to be able to get good consultation and effective medicines. If you're going to spend so much for products in the market long time, then you might as well use it to consult with a doctor and get the right treatment for you. One thing that we are avoiding as a result of acne is the scarring, the marks that it leaves on the skin. It doesn't get resolved overnight. And that's everything that I have to share, beautiful people. If some of you are experiencing acne and you are undergoing treatments, please do comment down below and share with me if there's anything that I may have missed and we can talk about that and learn from each other. Your feedback is a lifeline to this channel, so thank you very much for supporting us and please do subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed watching, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with family and friends, Thank you very much, beautiful people. You stay safe and well, and always keep living your life. Until the next time, everybody.